Hey everyone, it's Dr. Nikosi Darnell, AKA Techie SLP, and I'm so excited to see you on this wonderful rainy day in Texas. But you know what? It doesn't matter if it's rainy, we're not sleeping in, we're still all about learning. So today I actually wanna to talk to you a little bit about dyslexia, right? Did you know there are so many individuals who have a diagnosis of dyslexia, as well as those who do not have a diagnosis, but they struggle with reading. And so I really wanna give you some tools that you can use to help your children and your students that you're working with to improve their reading skills and their overall literacy, and just give you a little bit more education on dyslexia. It is actually the number one learning difference that children have in the United States. An estimated five to 10% of children actually have a diagnosis of dyslexia, but their estimates that this may be a, a rather reduced number that actually might be as high as 17%. There are over 40 million American adults who present with dyslexia. But only 2 million, you guys, only 2 million out of that 40 million even know they have dyslexia. So it's really important that we educate ourselves on it, learn more about it, and how we can combat this learning difference, right? And really help our students and our children be successful readers. Now, I'm going to share an app with you that I like to use. It's called Dyslexia Quest. It's actually very easy to use. It's great for parents and teachers as well as therapists and students alike to use. It's a screener and it also looks at the strengths and the weaknesses of the student. It looks at several different areas for children who are learning to read or who are already reading. So these six different areas look at, say, for instance, visual and auditory sequencing, as well as visual memory, auditory processing speed, phonological skills, reading comprehension, things like that. So and it's made for three different age groups. And as you're going to see, we're going to create our player. So I'm going to go ahead and put in my name as Coco. How and old are you? So you can see it's going to request your age. And so we're just going to pick the youngest age of five to seven. But you see it goes from five to seven up to 17 years and plus. Use your power. Tiger. Monkey. Each has different yetis to collect. Take these coins. They will help you on your journey. All yetis love coins. But nobody knows why. This is your quest. So what the students have to do, they actually have to choose a path to follow. So it's like a video game sequence in a way, or just a fun game for students to play. So we're going to actually follow the way of the dragon, and you'll see it's going to ask you to do different things. OK, so let's go the way of the dragon. And we're going to play or not. Hopefully we'll play. There we go. I tapped on the wrong one, guys. Remember this word when you are ready. Slide the screen. How quickly can you find the same word? You can go back if you need another look. Tap the word when you found the match. So what I like about this specific app, it gives the student very specific directions on what is expected of him or her. And then it also gives them an explanation of their strengths and weaknesses at the end of their game so that they can actually use those strengths and build on those weaknesses. And you're also, as an educator or SLP, able to send the results to the people who are appropriate. So whether it's the parent or the teacher. So we're looking for you at this point. We're going to slide up and start. And it's looking at your speed as well here. So we're going to go through. And you can see it starts off really simply with letters. And so say, for instance, if I got one wrong, like and so we have a number here. Oh, I got a P instead. Now we're looking at the word N. OK, so you're going to see me go through this whole process. 
And what <laughs> students do, they end up collecting a Yeti at the end of their quest. And you can see they get coins and this allows them to have some type of reinforcement to where they can choose um, a reward at the end of this. Okay, so then I finished that specific task. And so let's see, I got 91%. I can continue playing and go to the next section or I can like um, get out of here and continue next time, right? And so you can see that's one level um, of where you can go through and interact using this game. I like it because this is something that you can use to screen your students initially. You can also use it to obtain a baseline for them to see what level they are at, where their strengths and weaknesses are in relation to pre-literacy skills as well as literacy skills. And you're able to gauge how they're performing over time with this specific application as well. It's $9.99 and it can be used on an iPad, on your phone even. But I think honestly, the best case scenario would be from an iPad or some type of larger iOS device um, in order for them to play it. But it's a great app. Um, Common Sense Media has given it really good um, recommendations as well as has given it a nice overview. So it's also just, you know, well known and has a lot of respect in the community for working with children who have dyslexia. OK, I hope this is just another resource that you can put in your toolkit that you can use and implement um, at your convenience. OK, take care and I hope you have a wonderful week.